Hey, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's a little late here tonight. I'm out here in the shop tinkering away, uh, building a little portable uh, charging station. And it's only going to take a few tools and not going to take me very long at all. But I need to make this in order to, uh, you know, have something to pick up and carry to where I want to charge a battery. And all I have to do is plug in some solar panels. So I just wanted a little portable power uh, charging station that I can just pick up and take it to wherever I want and charge up a battery. So, uh, and listen to that sound. That's silence. And normally this time of the evening, the Koki frogs would be singing their their heads off quite loud, some, sometimes so loud I couldn't even make a video if it was raining and the temperature was right. It's 63 degrees, they go quiet, but we're like 67 tonight, which is prime uh, chirping temperature, but it's so dry and windy, they won't come out and risk drying up uh, in this drier climate. So they need rain and the right temperature. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how this goes together here real quick. So here's the idea. I've got about a three foot long piece of one by 12 here left over from some of the building of the shop here. And I wanna turn this into a quick portable power station. So tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up and I'll take my jigsaw and cut that out so I'll have a nice like handle to grab it by and pick this thing up. And I'm gonna mount this uh, din rail breaker that I will use for the solar panels in and then use some 10 gauge wire and then from there we'll go from there to the PV in on the MPPT 7515 and I'll be able to like run one to 300 watts of solar depending on whatever I want to run for whatever battery I want to hook up but I just needed a board that has this ready to go. I can pick it up and then I'm gonna uh, run this 10 gauge out to the battery, tie in a couple of ring terminals on it. I'll probably cut, oh, a good couple of feet of that wire, uh, maybe more, maybe three feet or so, so I can reach the batteries. I might move this down a little bit here but anyway, the idea is just to be able to pick this board up, walk out to where I've got some panels strung out or a battery that needs a charge and just hook it up real quick. And I've already cut my MC4s. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie those in on the top here. That's the opposite way, <laughs> positive and negative there, like that. So then I can just snap in my panels real quick. So I'm going to hook this up real quick. What I need is I just need to be able to, first of all, I need to be able to charge some things while I'm working on my more permanent array out here. I've been running these batteries down, uh, getting that system ready to put in place. I'm waiting on one part that I need. And but I've been using the lights at night and stuff, draining these batteries. And I just need to hook up some solar real quick. So I want, I'm want i just going to use this board, and then I'll be able to use it outside in a lot of my outside projects too. Okay, that went together very easily. Probably took me a half an hour uh, dinking around, cutting the wire, stripping the ends. So now I've got my MC4s ready. All I have to do is in the morning, uh, I can just move this wherever I want and plug in my solar panel extension cables with the MC4 right there. I'm going to tie in 300 watts, I think, two or 300 watts to start with. Going into my breaker, I'm just using this as a cutoff switch. Uh, nothing's going to come through here that's ever going to trip this. So I just use it as a cutoff switch for the solar panels. And there in the off position, you can see that the Victron charge controller is working now by that blue light. 
and I put a couple little securing clamps here, one for the leads coming from the solar panels and then down to the battery here too, just so, just so in moving it around and doesn't get kicked around, nothing comes loose. And then I've got it tied into the battery right now. And I went straight to the app and there it is on the app reading 13.17 volts. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name this uh, charge controller. So now I want to name this, you know, it just says smart charge controller, smart solar, gives some identifying numbers, but I wanna actually name it. So I know what I'm looking at when I get uh, near my other devices as well. And then I have the whole list show up. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this. And we're going to come up here to this icon right there. And then we're going to go to, uh, we go to battery, I believe. So we'll start with battery. Nope, I was wrong. That's it. Go up there again and hit uh, product info. And then you can come down here and where it says custom name, come over here, press edit. And then Get rid of that. And we're gonna call this the portable. Portable power board. And then just press okay. And now it's called the portable power board instead of all those numbers. So then when I go up to here and get out of there, you can see now it says portable power board. So now I'll know what I'm looking at. And first thing in the morning, I will uh, hook that up to solar and start charging these batteries because uh, this one's down to 1317. The one that I've been running these lights on is reading about 127. So that one's going to I might actually tie that battery in. <laughs> I've been draining that one down the last few nights. So, uh, but this was a very, very simple thing to do. Now, if I wanted to, I could have put a, a breaker in here somewhere. I'm not worried about it, so I didn't. Uh, I'm just gonna simply use this board. There's a little portable tote and carry. Uh, you know, I've got batteries I can run around uh, and just, drop this thing anywhere I want and I've got long enough cables from my uh, portable solar arrays and stuff. I can just plug this in wherever I want and charge a battery wherever I want. Back in my truck, right here, <laughs> until I get a more permanent array up or whatever. But yeah, so all it took, you know, I mean, I've got my own MC4, uh, you know, connectors. I can make my own connectors, uh, some 10 gauge wire, couple of clamps and that was it and a couple of ring terminals and I did go ahead and cut this two feet long right at right at two feet long to give myself a little extra for some of the bigger batteries the terminals are further apart so it gives me a little little play room there but yeah so you know first light I'll get out cut that around pick it up put it where I want it which is probably going to be not far from where it sits right now but yeah, that's, this is all it took, you know, some cutters, some crimpers, a uh, wire stripper, a couple of ring terminals, a couple of clamps, and some wire. And that was it. And, uh, and a few of these little screws in that I like here. These, these little guys right here that uh, I fastened the charge controller on with. So there it is. You know, the portable portable power board, I'm calling that. <laughs> but I, I really do need something like that because 
now I will have a permanent array hooked up in here and make a little charging station in here. But I do a lot of stuff out in the field too. I saw a friend of mine uh, a few weeks ago. He had a few of these type of portable power boards exactly like this, give or take, with an inverter on it as well uh, for working out in the field on a construction site. So uh, that's a good idea too. I could throw an inverter on there if I wanted to. Uh, that'd be easy enough to do. I don't, I don't want to do that. I just simply wanted a very lightweight uh, board for just charging up some batteries wherever I decide to sit down. <laughs> so yeah, pretty easy. It didn't take that long. Kind of fun. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the morning now because uh, like I said, I've been depleting these batteries running around in here at night, goofing off, uh, playing with all these things. And all I have to do is plug in those solar panels and start charging. And then uh, I'll set the lithium iron phosphate profile on that Victron. Uh, makes it super easy. Plug and play. Carry plug and play. All right, you guys. It's getting kind of late. And uh, I'll be up in the morning and start powering some stuff up. Catch you on the next one. Aloha. Yeah, that was kind of fun. Kind of fun. <laughs>